Hello again, friends. I hope you're doing well in the beginning of this new year. I've shared before that I often read devotional material from pastor theologian Eugene Peterson, and I came across one the other day where he shared a story about how he used to sometimes take his daughter Karen with him for pastoral visits in nursing homes when she was really young. She was better than a Bible, he says. We would walk in the room and people's faces would immediately light up. They would delight in her smile and want to stroke her hair and hold her hand and ask her all kinds of questions. One time, he continues, we went to visit a lady named Mrs. Eyre, who was in the advanced stages of dementia. She was very talkative and directed all her questions to my daughter, Peterson says. She told her a story about her own childhood, which was probably triggered by seeing my daughter right there in front of her. And when she was finished with the story, she immediately repeated it again, word for word. And then she said it again, and again, and again. After about 20 minutes of this repeated story, I started to worry that my daughter was going to become uncomfortable and confused about what was actually going on. So I interrupted them, we said a prayer, and we left. On the way home, Peterson continues, I told my daughter that I was proud of her for her patience and her attentiveness about how she'd listened to this repeated story without showing any signs of being bored. Karen, I said, Mrs. Ayer's mind isn't working exactly the way ours do. Oh, I know that, Daddy, she said to me. She wasn't trying to tell us anything. She was trying to tell us who she is. Nine years old, and she knew the difference. She knew that Mrs. Eyre was using words not for communication, but for communion. As Peterson puts it, it's a difference that our culture pays little attention to but is something that needs our desperate attention. Let me ask you, what do you think this new year might look like if you were to make a wholehearted effort to pay more attention to the depth of the communion you share with other people as opposed to the accuracy of the communication that happens between you? Give that some thought this week and take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.